buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. I have got the mother of all Martin guitars today. That's right, I've got a D18 for you. It's a 2003, and we were just looking at this guitar, and it's like, what year is that guitar? It looks brand new. Whoever had this guitar before me uh, didn't play it. I mean, the frets are in incredible shape. There's just a little bit of very light pick scratches on the pick guard. There is... There's nothing on the body. I mean, this guitar is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I was just really struck by it. The other thing I was struck by is on this uh, solid Sitka spruce top is the amount of bear claw. Now, for those of you that don't know what bear claw is, uh, they call it that, I don't think because bears actually claw the wood, but it takes on a funny grain pattern and it kind of looks like a bear has clawed the wood. And it, we have some right in through here, in through here, 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 here. Usually you have like a spot of bear claw. This top is just loaded with it. This is absolutely a gorgeous piece of, of spruce. And uh, for them to have used it in this top, uh, I was very, very impressed. Of course, the, uh, the D18s have mahogany back and sides, which this one does. Uh, it's got an Indian rosewood fretboard that's absolutely beautiful. Of course, the uh, Martin uh, tuners on the back. There's a strap button installed here, which I want to point that out. Uh, other than that, I'll tell you, this guitar is absolutely stock. It's like going to the store and buying, let's see, I don't want a 2017. Give me the 2003 over there, the, the brand new one. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. This guitar is absolutely incredibly cool. Now, um, Martin's, uh, this is called a dreadnought. I looked up a little bit of information for everybody. I thought it might be interesting for you to know where the word dreadnought came from. Because I've always used it, it's like a dreadnought guitar. It's, it's all the guitars of this size, of course. Uh, Gibson has one, Martin has one, Epiphone has one, everybody, uh, Taylor has a dreadnought. They all have this size guitar. Where did that come from? So back in uh, the early 1900s, matter of fact, 1916, there was a guy named Oliver uh, Disson who uh, had Oliver Disson music. He teamed up with Martin and they said, let's develop a large bodied steel string guitar and we want it to be really really loud so they called it a dreadnought they named it a dreadnought after a world war one battleship that had these big cannons on there so you ever heard a guitar referred to as a cannon well there's where it comes from they developed the dreadnought which was a world war one uh, warship and it was as loud as a cannon and i'll tell you what this guitar certainly lives up to the cannon love playing this guitar. The neck angle is just really, really good. Uh, the, the saddle, uh, the bridge saddle has never been uh, sanded down, so you've certainly got room to move it uh, down if required, but I'll tell you, I love the action on this guitar. <laughs> certainly not going to get lost in your local jam with this guitar. This thing is as loud as any Martin I've ever played. I could sit here and play this guitar all day. This is one really, really cool guitar. And let's see, a, a 2003, what would that be? 14 years old? Yeah, 14 years old and it looks brand new. This guitar is just absolutely incredible. Well, that's cool, but I also have for you the original Martin case, which of course is the plastic hard shell case. It's in just as nice a shape as the guitar. And it looks like it also has just never been out of the bedroom. I mean, it just, ugh, there's hardly any marks on it whatsoever. Uh, you open it up and of course it's got the beautiful green plush that's absolutely beautiful. Case key is here, of course, that's really cool. Oh, what have we here? We have all kinds of stuff. This is really good to see in these guitars. We have the uh, Martin polishing cloth. 
we have the care and feeding of your Martin guitar. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's where the uh, warranty stuff is. Yep, that's in here also. Um, here's the un... Uh, here's... <laughs> Okay, for those of you in the know, if you have the original owner's card, you know what to do with these, right? Okay, so we have the owner's card in there, which is always very important to have if you need work to be done on your guitar. And, uh, oh, here's the Martin Owner's Club. You can join now. So you got all this really cool case candy in here. You get the Martin case, you get this really, really cool Martin D18 guitar that is just ready to play out of the box. If you are looking for a Dreadnought, a Canon, a guitar that you can love for the rest of your life strumming, this is a candidate. Uh, it's opened up nicely. It still has some more room to go. Uh, but I'll tell you what, that is not like playing a brand new Martin guitar. It's not tight, it's starting to loosen up, and I think it just sounds wonderful, and it's only going to get better. So check in all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com, where we only sell cool guitars. Hey, thanks a lot for watching our videos. I really appreciate it. See you again.